you know, a f um, for a few months I've been kind of been giving Google a lot of credit with the marketing and build up to this phone because they've been leaking it and doing their own stuff and pretty much giving it away. I thought I could enjoy the event and be like, alright, we'll see what else they unveiled. Well, everything I've been saying for these past few months have gone straight out the door because Google, you managed to fuck up the event and you managed to fuck up the pixel. Hey, what is up everybody? Michael here. Welcome back to Technoid. And by the sound of my tone, yes, I am not the most enthusiastic right now because the Google event ended and it just was not, it wasn't great, guys. Look, I'm not saying that I wouldn't expect this. I, I watched this with low expectations, but I was a little more excited than normal because I thought Google was going to do something different and, and they just, they, they didn't. And it sucks because I was so behind on everything that they did. We're not going to focus on the Nest or anything in between. We're going to focus on two particular products, the Pixel Buds and the Google Pixel 4. So let's start with the Pixel Buds. So the Pixel Buds, as I said, they did say they were going to unveil. I covered saying how they were possibly going to. Well, they did. And they did it very stupidly. This was one of the weirdest pre presentations that I have ever seen Google do because when Google was presenting the Pixel Buds and the phone, they were presenting it as if they had just invented this type of technology. Like they were saying, we managed to make an earbud that is so flush, so amazing with the best battery life. It literally has the same battery life as AirPods. And the thing is, is that these earbuds, there are other ones out there that are probably even better and more flushed in your ears. Now, obviously these are supposed to be better ones and we don't know anything about it. Um, the only thing we know is that they charge $179, which baffles me because I don't understand how the hell you can price these headphones at $179 when Amazon, Samsung, and a whole other market is basically making their buds for under $100 or at the $100 price mark. You're about to push what AirPods are. And probably, granted, they, they probably sound better than AirPods, but still. AirPods come in cheaper at $159 without the wireless charging case. So, I don't know what they were thinking there. Then you had the Pixel 4. Now, before we start this, I just want to disclaim. All these YouTubers, MKBHD, and Unbox Therapy, and all the big YouTubers, like, to all you fanboys of them, stop feeding out of their hand. They're literally getting paid to promote this bullshit phone. Because that's really what it is. I thought I was going to enjoy this phone. I thought it was going to be great. But then I just realized what it was. It was just a smartphone that's going to be behind. And honestly, these YouTubers, I watched their videos. I watched Lou. I watched Marcus. This was the dumbest thing I have ever seen from those two. And I'm surprised because obviously their reviews will come later. But the way they make this sound like it is such an amazing phone. It's so intuitive this and that. Like, shut the fuck up. Literally, shut the fuck up. But anyway, the Pixel 4 and 4XL, I don't know what to say. I knew there was no surprise and I thought there was going to be some compelling things about this phone. But it just, there was nothing, guys. The phone has a 6.3 inch display for the XL, 5.7 inch for the smaller. They don't have SD card slot. The face I unlock, whatever they want to call it, is pretty neat. And it has a 90 hertz refresh rate, which is nice for the display. And it doesn't talk anything about the battery. It has two cameras, a telephoto instead of an ultra wide, and Project Stadia, this chip that allows you to do the sensors and stuff. And the price was $799 and $899. Now, I knew the price was going to be that, and I'm not mad at that. My problem is that, that there's not enough here to say buy that phone. Look, first of all, this phone is so far behind in hardware. Two cameras, for that price that you're paying for a premium flagship smartphone, the least you should get is three cameras. And I'm not even trying to argue that three cameras make sense. But if you're paying almost $1,000, you should be getting a third camera on there. That's one. Number two, the battery life is going to drain fast because of that 90 hertz refresh uh, display. Now, I hope in the settings that they have a toggle where you can turn off the 90 hertz and degrade it to 60 hertz and it adapts. But still, battery is going to suffer. Maybe not for the XL, but for the regular four. 
the battery is gonna suffer. Number three, why the hell are there two cameras? I've been waiting for this video. I don't understand. Like, it's bad enough you leaked the design. It literally looks like the iPhone, but you couldn't even put an ultra wide. That's to say you could get the iPhone 11 or the S10e, two phones that are much better in value and price. Hell, and I'm gonna say one more that I thought of that is going to get my attention, but I'm gonna save that for the end of this video. You could literally get an ultra wide camera and it will literally be better than a telephoto. Now, I'm not saying a telephoto isn't terrible, but for this particular phone, why didn't you put ultra wide? And the third reason, how can you price these at $799 for the value you're being given? Honestly, this is there is nothing here that I can enjoy. The Pixel 3, and I'm not even an Apple fanboy, I use Android, but the value is not there. 64 gigabytes for $799. I get Apple, but at least they're $100 less, and maybe even more if you go for the 10R. And another thing, you don't even have expandable mem memory, you can't save the original qu quality of what you film, and it overall just is terrible. No headphone in the box, no adapter, not even a bigger charger that they advertise. I, I can't believe it, Google, how did you manage to mess this up? You're literally expecting people to pay these amount of money for a flagship when if you were to pay $200 less, you could get the OnePlus 7 Pro, the OnePlus 7T Pro. Two smartphones, in my opinion, that are the best, the best, best smartphones of value. You get the 90 hertz refresh rate, a big battery. You get three cameras. You get the 855 Plus. That's another thing. It didn't even have the 855 Plus. You're on the 855. It has more RAM, it has more storage with an SD card slot, and overall, it has a better display. Look, at the end of the day, I was disappointed. Google, you managed to fuck up this event. How did you? You had so much. I was up your ass too. I was giving you so much credit. I was giving you so much props, and you managed to fuck it up. You literally, you even when you presented it on stage, you didn't care. You literally, the people presenting it had no care. And that is literally what it feels like if you're a Pixel fan. They don't care about you and they don't care about what you want. They want you to get what they want you to get that they feel you should have. And that is no excuse. I'm sorry, but for $799, $899, no. I don't even need to be an expert. I don't even need to be Lou when I'm not box therapy and MKBHD to read this bullshit on the wall. If they're so dumb enough to be bought out by this shit, Fuck them, bro. Literally, I'm gonna speak honestly and open. Do not buy this phone. It is not worth the value. It doesn't make any sense for an average consumer to pay for that when you could get the OnePlus 7T or the T Pro if you're lucky enough, or even another premium flagship smartphone like the S10, the Note 10 if you wanna pay the extra few dollars. Or, hell, even I'll go further. Get an iPhone 11 or a 10R that are cheaper and has better software, well, that's debatable, but still, I don't know how, how a budget iPhone can be better than a premium flagship. And I feel like Google did this for a reason, because they know sell are going to sell well. So they're gonna bank off that and be like, screw the premium. I don't know how, I, I really do not know how this managed to get fucked up. So Google, congratulations. You managed to fuck up an event that had so much potential and now you're just going to suffer. If I was Google, I would just cancel smartphones as a whole because your ecosystem's great, but you fucked it up. It's either you give what consumers want or I don't know. Now, there are going to be people that defend this. I'm not saying it's a terrible phone, but for the price that you're paying, you could get a so much better smartphone, guys. Honestly, there's no debate there. But if you disagree, let me hear your thoughts down below. So that is story number one. Story number two, now we're gonna focus on audio. Let's move over to Apple, because while all this was going on, Apple decided to drop a new product. Well, Beats. They decided to drop the brand new refreshed uh, Beats Solo Pro. I, I tell you, that name Pro is getting so dragged on. Power Beats Pro, now Solo Pros. At least this time though, it makes a lot of justifications. So the Solo Pros are basically the updated version of the Solo 3s. I enjoyed the Solo 3s for my time using them. It's too bad I had to give them away, but it's okay though. My friend, my cousin that uses it is enjoying it. But um, 
The Solo Pros have a new design with a different type of mechanism to work. It now charges by lightning, which is pretty cool. It has noise canceller, and it has a better sound thanks to the Powerbeats Pro drivers and sound setup that's in there. The only negative with this headphone that nobody's talking about is that it removes the auxiliary cord. It removes the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Now time out, time the fuck out. It is one thing, it is one thing to say that you don't need the headphone jack anymore, but when the solos ran out of battery, you could plug those things in and you can use them. You realize by removing the headphone jack, you now have limited consumers to a wireless future. Now I get it, everybody goes, oh, wireless is the future, wireless is. Bro, people take headphones everywhere. They take them on planes, they take them on trips. They use the 3.5 millimeter with a conversion sometimes to save battery. So don't tell me that a wireless future re means removing the headphone jack off of the headphones. There is no excuse, and for that sole reason, I'm not even gonna buy it. I may review it, but I'm not gonna keep them. There is no excuse. The Solo Pro can be the best sounding on-ear headphones, but to remove that is a dick move, and I don't wanna hear any excuses. That is just completely ridiculous. But that is the Beat Solo Pros. They seem to be good, but because they did that, fuck that. And last story up is another audio. I feel I'm going pretty light on audio is AKG. Now, AKG is a very weird company. They are very, very weird. They release products here, they release products there. They come in America, they come out of the country. It's weird, but they make some great sounding headphones and I've enjoyed my N700s. Well, remember the rumor back in the past when I talked about how they were going to make up for that removing of the headphone jack by including a noise canceling headphone in the box? Well, yeah, that never happened but it turns out they are releasing that noise canceling headphone. So according to Sam Page, whatever, uh, a Korean website has pulled up the AKG earbuds and what you are seeing are the official images of what they're gonna look like. Now they're basically similar to what comes in the box, but they have a different design. Now these are made by AKG. These are not tuned, not Samsung made. These are fully AKG earphones. They are made by AKG and tuned by them and the noise cancel included. It says it will remove 99% of the environment around you. Of course, though, I will try that out when I get them. And they say they're supposed to sound very nice and have a good audio profile. So this is what they look like. I am definitely intrigued. I had wished it had been in the box because that would have been so much better and made up for the value. But of course, you know, they want to make money and that's what happened. And that's it for today's episode of Technoid. So guys, I, I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this episode and honestly, I don't, I don't care. Look, I really don't care if you liked what I had to say because at the end of the day, it's my opinion and if you don't like it, you don't have to agree with it. So please, let me know your thoughts down below. Let me hear the hate comments. Let me hear what you guys wanna say and let me know about Apple just removing audio ports from headphones. That, that literally makes no sense. And let me know what you think about AKG. So thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down below and peace. I'm sorry, 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 I'm sorry